Ken Trahan with Lenny Van Gilder. It's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout the metropolitan New Orleans area and beyond. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. It's training camp time for the New Orleans Saints. Amen and hallelujah for football fans. It's here in the black and gold convening in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, meeting on Wednesday and starting on Thursday with a lot of questions to be answered, I posted a story at sportsnola.com about storylines, and there are many. I just picked 10, but obviously a lot more questions than answers at this stage. That's not a criticism. It's simply a statement of fact. Well, you've got to find out a lot about what you have. You've, you've put some new pieces in there, be it draft picks, be it free agent signings. You've got to see what you have and, and let it all come together. Obviously, I think there's more questions on the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. seems like it's always the case. You look at what some of the national people are saying, they certainly agree with that. You know, in my mind, the biggest question that's going to live out there has nothing to do with on the field, and that's going to be the contract situation of Drew Brees going into a contract year and how you're going to deal with that. Are you going to try to extend him, or are you going to let him play out the final year and then deal with it in the offseason? That will be the lingering question from now until a deal gets done training camp or otherwise right and it's hard to fathom him playing anywhere else but it can happen just look at what happened with Peyton Manning but I feel safe to say at this point that his replacement is not on campus and I stress at this point I would agree with that as well I don't see that or else you'd be doing some things differently in terms of how you have your quarterback set up and you know in terms of who's backing him up and you know that that sort of thing so it's I 100% 100% agree that the the next quarterback in the New Orleans Saints is not currently on the 90-man roster. I read the story on the storylines, and you'll get a perspective on where the Saints are heading into training camp, and we look forward to seeing it. And we'll have coverage, of course, every day on what's transpiring leading up to the preseason games and beyond, and we look forward to that. Speaking of football and really all sports, the LHSAA, the latest dilemma surrounding Eddie Bonine's future was resolved on Monday. It took a long time to do it, but a terse 13 second statement was made, basically saying that he's staying as the executive director after over two hours of public discussion and then an executive committee meeting of about an hour or so. And, and Lenny, of course, many people are speculating that he's staying because A, he apologized, and B, they can't afford a buyout or both. I think the answer is probably both. It's probably both, but I think B more than A. Yeah, at I this do point. too. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, this is a organization that is not. Uh, rolling in the dough at this point. They, he, yeah, Eddie Bonine has done some good things. Obviously, the biggest thing he was probably brought in to do, he has not been able to do, and he's clearly frustrated by it, and that led to some of the comments that he made uh, to the National Federation of High Schools in, in his report there. And, you know, he apologized for that, and, and that's, you know, great. He was able to clear the air. The thing I like is he's a stand-up guy. He said what he said or wrote what he wrote, and – didn't try to take it back or put it back in the bottle or anything like that. He admitted, yeah, this is this is what I did, and I'll I'll take you know I'll take full credit or blame for it. So, um, you know, where, what the future lies of this organization remains to be seen. And nothing nothing that happened on Monday at the executive committee meeting changed anything in terms of what the real future of this organization is at this point. Finesse and politicking are big parts of anything in terms of getting things accomplished. And Eddie Bonine's issue isn't about what he's tried to do. It's how he's tried to do these things. And that's clearly been a fractious issue with relation to principals who are non-trusting of him and, and, and really have animosity toward him at this point. Yeah, but I, I think it's I think it's more than just him. I think it's about the whole organization, as, as, as it were. And, um, you know, wanting wanting things one way as opposed to another way, and they really cannot develop any common ground. And that's, you know, that's frustrating, obviously, and it's going to be interesting again to see. This is this is arguably the most critical year in the history of that organization to see if, as we stand here next July, are we talking about two different organizations in place or is everybody still under the same umbrella? Pelicans have all the players uh, that they had signed – Signed because they couldn't announce it until a certain date. Now they're introducing them to the public, and that includes their draft picks, both Hield and Diallo on the dotted line, but of course the four main acquisitions that they made during the offseason, as well as their roster takes shape, and they've done what they had to do. They changed the roster dramatically, which they had to do. They stayed young in the process, which I think is important. They improved their defense. I don't think there's any question about that. 
you would think they've improved their health on the floor because the game's played based upon the subtractions they've made. I guess the question would be, have they replaced enough points with the guys that have been cast aside? Well, it's going to be interesting to see. I like the analogy that's been made that they've kind of taken the approach to what the Portland Trailblazers did last year. Uh, a lot of people thought the Trailblazers were – going in the tank last year, and lo and behold, they ended up being the, the five seed in the West. So uh, will that be the case for the Pelicans? Who knows? That remains to be seen, how this team meshes together and exactly what you've got and how it all, you know, how it all plays out. And you mentioned health, how healthy they remain next year. So, um, you know, I, I like what they've done. I think they needed to, to take a different approach, and clearly they've, they've gone a different route here this offseason. And last but not least, the hiring of Rob Bernardi at Tulane is basically the number two man to Troy Dannon. Uh, They continue to remake this athletic department, the coaching hires, obviously, but even administrative, that's not unexpected. You've been through that. I've been through that. Anytime you have a change, you're going to have change. And here the change is pretty radical. But in the case of Rob Bernardi, that's a good hire. This is a guy that's run an athletic department on a small budget for a long time and done a very good job of sustaining it and even building it in Thibodeau at Nickel State. He's from here. He'll be close to home now. And I think it's a good hire. Yeah, I think so. Rob's been in Southeast Louisiana for 25 years, so he knows the players in the game, if you will. And yeah, there is a good bit of turnover going on there at Tulane. We'd seen some other moves already, uh, the latest of which last week, Barbara Burke uh, accepting a job at the University of Iowa to be a senior associate AD and, and senior woman administrator. And we should say best wishes as well to our friend Roger Dunaway, who will be uh, heading from not different uh, uh, different office, same address. He'll be uh, taking a new job at Tulane on, on main campus, but leaving the athletic department has been a great help to uh, all of us who try to do this job for the last 10 years. Extremely well-liked and a consummate professional, and Godspeed to Roger. And he'll be staying here, and that's a good thing, just out of athletics. That's our first NBC Bank weekend review brought to you by First NBC Bank with 35 locations throughout southeast Louisiana and into the Florida panhandle. That's First NBC Bank, proud sponsor of SportsNola.com. Have a great week. Yeah, have a great week as well, and welcome back. Yeah, nice to be back, and you have a great week as well, and God bless.